Hey guys, Kyle here from Z1. Uh, on today's episode of Behind the Design, we're going to talk about Z1 carbon intakes. Okay, let's start by talking about cold air intakes. Colder air is denser and has more oxygen, which is exactly what your engine needs to make power. Manufacturers know this, which is why the stock air box is often ducted to behind the front bumper or the fender area. However, they do it with a non-smooth tube and resonation chambers, which take away some of that sweet induction sound. Nice throw! Oops. You've likely noticed we've been coming out with some carbon products lately, so let's take a look at why we're using carbon and the benefits of doing so. So to start, let's look at the construction of our intakes. They're full carbon fiber, inside and outside, with a UV-resistive gloss coating to help prevent yellowing and hazing. There's a billet mat bung to ensure perfect fitment every time and no leaks. And fun little thing to note here, aluminum tubing, when you bend it, you have to leave a straight section between the bends for the mandrel. We don't have that problem with carbon, so we're able to add an extra bend here to help with clearance on the 350 HR strut tower brace. We'll put a picture here to do that, okay? <laughs> Another benefit, as you know, they look great. This is sexy. They're very lightweight, and carbon is also a great insulator. We're taking cold air, cold air intakes, running it through a hot engine bay to the engine. Now, with carbon, you can grab these things after a track day, and they're not hot. The air inside stays nice and cool getting to the engine, which is exactly what you want. Remember, colder air, more density, more, more oxygen, more power. You also don't need to use thermal wrap, thermal tape. Uh, if I see someone wrap these in thermal tape, we're gonna have a problem. They're too pretty, okay? Don't wrap them. We currently have two and a half inch intakes for the HR and VHR, so 370s, G37s, 350, and G35 HRs. Two and a half inch, three inch. We have the Z tube as well. And some new carbon intakes on the way. We'll get into that next time. All right, thanks for timing into today's episode of Behind the Design. I'm Kyle. See you next time.